Little pink pills that boost a woman's desire to have sex could be in the shops by the end of the year. Back in June, an advisory panel recommended the drug flibanserin be approved by the Food and Drug Administration, and a decision is due today. Trading under the name Addy, the pills were developed by a small company in North Carolina called Sprout Pharmaceuticals. They're recommended for women with HSDD, or hypoactive sex drive disorder, a condition that's characterised by a lack of desire for sexual activity. Flibanserin was originally developed as an antidepressant, but unlike Viagra, which helps men with erectile problems by affecting the blood flow, Addy works on neurotransmitters in the brain that affect sexual desire. Um, and it is most certainly not female Viagra. Um, it, it treats a completely different condition, but one that is still equally as important. In the five years that it's been in development, the pill has been rejected twice by the FDA over potential safety issues, including low blood pressure. That led to Sprout raising tens of millions of dollars for additional clinical trials. One of those who took part was Amanda Parrish, who realised the drug was working when she was texting her husband in a car park. I started getting a flutter, and I always say it was a, a flutter down south. It was not my heart, and um, I was like, whoa. Well, opposition group The New View Campaign has published a song about rejecting flibanserin called Throw That Pink Pill Away. It's the bone drug and the bone team, though they've passed The New View Campaign claim it's a case of big business producing an ineffective drug to create demand and then chase vast profits. Throw that pink pill. It's just a mishmash of politics and science and sex and money, 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 money. Follow the money. Their claims that Sprout CEO Cindy Whitehead brushes off. I laugh when I see these stories that call us Big Pharma <laughs> because look around our office, there are 25 of us. Opponents also argue that Sprout has spuriously turned the issue into one of women's rights, thereby manipulating the FDA to act in their favour. All of this is, is a, a bizarre situation that would only be worthwhile if there was a serious medical problem and if the drug were effective. And neither of those things seems to be the case. But Whitehead argues that politics and sexism are the reasons that drugs like Addy aren't being developed. I feel the pain of women with HSDD when people say it's as simple as have a glass of wine, it will be okay. Have some chocolate, it'll be okay. Get a different partner. Parrish, though, takes a different position. She says that while flibanserin isn't perfect, she believes that most drugs have complications. My plea is just make something available and then let women with their doctors make a decision if it's right for them. It's, it's not a perfect drug. There's no perfect drug.